So in this video, I'm going to show you how to take a scrape of one of your koi. You'll need a few things to make sure that you do a scrape successfully. You'll need a koi net, not a fishing net, but a koi net, a sock, a koi bowl, a microscope, some slides, and paper towels. Okay, well, hopefully today you get to see how we do a scrape on a koi. So you need a few things. You need a slide. This is a slide here and a cover. You could pick these up and uh, today we're going to show you how to take a scrape from a koi. We've already got the fish in the bowl prepared for you. And hopefully you learn something from this. This is a tutorial to help you how to take a sample of mucus sample of a fish. Uh, do like and subscribe and share the video where you can. And uh, let's go to it. So when we scrape in the fish, we want to start from the head to the tail, going with the scales, not against it. We take in a scrape from this area, the dorsal area, and you gently turn the fish, roll the fish over. You get a scrape from under the peck. These pecks are underneath here, as well as a good area, and roughly around the gill, throat to gill area, without any sedate. Okay, so we take a scrape. Going from the head to the tail, so we go up here. There you go. Can you see some mucus there? So that's one scrape we take. I'll set that aside. And then this next two scrape, we want it in places that perhaps if there's a parasite will be hidden. So this involves flipping the fish over gently, as you can see I did there. I'm trying to make sure she's calm. There's no sedate under the peck. There you go. Let's get a little bit more. Under the peck, right under the bowl, there under the gill, the belly area. Can you see that? Okay. And you see, there's no sedate on the fish, so we're able to take a nice scrape of the fish, making sure all areas are fine. It's a good opportunity to check over the koi, making sure everything is fine with her, and then we'll put her back. Right, so we take the mucus sample, strip them together there, close it down, cover, put it in, bring it together, get into the middle, and two. So here I'm preparing the slide, get the mucus sample in the middle. Push it down and I clean all around it. And the same thing with the rest. Ready to go to the scope. Three different parts of the koi. So now we're going to go take a look on the microscope. Let's go. So now we're going to put our sample underneath there and see if we find any parasites. Let's have a look. So I'm taking my time and looking through the slide properly any areas where I see any dark shadows or something I'm not sure about I use the focus button here and I sort of focus through the mucus layer um, in there so we're gonna look over through the slide see if we see anything I would uh, drop you now onto the microscope and we can get some footage to see there so it's all clear so we're going on to the next slide itself just got one more so I checked all three slides itself to see if there's anything I don't expect to find anything but it's a good time to check anyway to see if there's anything in here but uh, so far all the slides first two slides is totally clear so I'm making my way systematically across the slide I'm not just going fast in any areas where I see any shadows or maybe like something like a 
air bubble or something I'm not sure of, I use the microscope uh, zoom in focus and I focus through it, looking through the mucus layer as it were to see if I pick up anything but um, yeah so far all good so I'm going through all the areas of where it could possibly be something hiding alright and now we're going to do our last slide so this is the last so again I'm going through the same process I'm looking for something you see that river flowing there and if I focus I, you can see the water flowing through there so that's the river you want to saw so normally if there's something like costia uh, trichodina even flukes they would be in like this flow bit and the costia would tend to swim darting across if you look up on google costier and koi you would see where they're darting across back and forth back and forth but if you look in that river that starts down to the bottom left hand side moving all the way up to the top right hand side you can see that flow can you see it and uh, that's the river that you want to look for and any parasite tends to hang out in there in that way so i'm making my way up to the river itself following it as it flows, you can see we're following. Yeah, you can see some footage of white spot we found a few months ago. Take a look carefully. You can see the dark mass moving with inside that round circle. Again, thank you for watching. Do like and subscribe. Okay, so how do you decide which fish to scrape? Do you just pick any fish and scrape it? Well, I tend to look at my fish and see, as you can see them over my shoulder, I tend to look at anyone that is not really swimming with the rest of them or maybe it's out on its own acting a little bit different to the others obviously if you do this right in front of the fish it would be different it's best to stand away from the pond and just observe them for five to ten minutes and take the one out that perhaps maybe sitting on the bottom or maybe it's not doing what the rest of them are doing maybe it's isolating itself and that's the fish we normally take <music>